वेलकम स्टूडेंट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू कंप्लीट प्रैक्टिकल नंबर फोर ए प्रैक्टिकल फोर वर्क विद द फॉर्म कंट्रोल एंड प्रैक्टिकल फोर ए इज रिलेटेड विद द रजिस्ट्रेशन फॉर्म टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट द यूज ऑफ वेरियस वैलिडेशन कंट्रोल वॉट इज द वैलिडेशन एवरीबडी नोज वैलिडेशन इज चेकिंग द करेक्टनेस एंड कंप्लीटनेस ऑफ डेटा इट विल बी चेकिंग द करेक्टनेस एंड कंप्लीटनेस ऑफ डेटा it will not be matlab for example uh, if suppose it has been expected that mobile number should be of 10 digit then it will be checking is it of 10 digits or not it will not check whether mobile number really is in existence or not if suppose we are accepting the email address it will be going to check whether the email address is in a valid form or not it will not check whether the email address is really in existence or not so when you would like to check really in existence or not then we required to work with sending the otp or send the confirmation mail and so on so many of the websites you will find they are going to send you the confirmation mail in which you are getting a link that link need to be accepted by you so now let us start with understanding the various validation controls which are provided by the asp.net to you to understand the validation control i am going to file and creating a new project interested in creating the web application so i am selecting asp.net web application maybe i'll give the name of this application as practical 4a and give it a click on create a new empty application has been created and in which i would like to create a web page for registration form and inside this web page i will be testing the various validation controls which are provided by the asp.net to us and along with that various property of the validation control need to be tested by us so let's start i need to create a web page over here a web form over here so i'd given the right click selected the option add and selected the option as web form maybe i'd given the web form name as registration and further given a click on okay now what i want i would like to design a small web form and when the user clicks on submit uh, a message should be displayed on the label uh, as registration is successful one by one we will be trying all these validation controls so what are the different validation controls are provided by the asp.net to us they are compare validator custom validator range validator regular expression validator required field validator and a validation summary along with this at the end of this video i will be also explaining you how to implement the validation groups so starting one by one i would like to first of all check the validation which is named as required field validation step by step we will build a registration form as well as we will try to implement the validation controls on it ekdam aasan sa cheez hai so first i will go with the uh, basic designing i would like to accept uh, a name so here the label text is given as name and a text box is been added by me further i would like to implement a submit button so i am just interested in creating one button and next to the button on the next line i would like to display a message on the label so here i am interested in adding one label what i am expecting when the user clicks on this button maybe i am saying uh, sign up so when the user gives a click on a sign up what should happen the label should get a message add registration is completed successfully so currently my label 2 is been added by me i would like to give a name of this label id of this label as lbl reserve now moving ahead on a button click i need the message should be displayed so i'm writing the code behind for the lbl reserve by saying lbl reserve dot text equal to registration is successful fine right. so my text has been added and now i'm trying to run this particular page when i run this particular page what happen it will display a web form in front of me which will be expecting to that we should be entering the name and further we should be given a click on a submit so i might be entering the name or might not be entering the name but once i give a click on a button the label will be getting a message as A registration is successful and that is the only thing which we don't want 
without entering the name if the user clicks on a sign up then also the code behind is getting executed but what i expect that if i give a click on a sign up without entering the name then a message should be displayed as please provide the name without providing the name i will not be going for submitting this form now currently by entering the name or without entering the name the code is getting executed but i don't want that that's the reason i'm implementing the validation which validation i need to implement over here i am interested in implementing the required field validator what do you mean by required field validator required field validator means value must be provided so i dragged required field validator over here and now i am setting some important properties of required field validator a very important property id that is for identification of this particular control right now let it be the same one as required field validator one a error message which must be displayed on the validation summary so here i am providing the error message over here as please provide name another very important property is there named as control to validate so here i am implementing the control to validate as text box one it means this validation control is implemented for this control named as text box 1 moving ahead i am entering a, another very important property that is named as text now please remember that if you are providing text as well as a error message both then text is displayed on a validation control and error message is displayed on a validation summary and if you are not providing a text then uh, error message is displayed on both validation summary as well as your text also that is on a control also so i had just implemented which are different important properties are there control to validate uh, id for identification error message as well as text there are many other properties are there uh, already it has been taught to you in the lecture source so now i am trying to run this particular page and if i give a click on a submit then you know that the validation should work but the error will get occurred and we required to find out how to resolve this error so this is the error which is getting occurred it says web forms uh, you know brest validation mode requires script resource mapping for jquery so if you get this errors don't worry you need to go for updating it with your uh, web.config so here i am selecting my web.config and interested in going for setting some kind of changes inside the configuration so inside the configuration we are having another tag which is named as app setting so you will require to go with the configuration and add up a tag called as app setting in that you need to add up a key called as validation setting and value should be none so please remember this this particular key need to be added so i had copied this and added it under the configuration i saved this program and i'm planning to run this particular page once again and now let us check really the things works fine or not so if i am going to give a click on the submit now what is happening the code behind will not get executed because our validation is not successful and it displays with the star mark that is the text then sir where error message is displayed we have not yet added the validation summary so error message is not also getting displayed so i want the validation summary need to be added so here i implemented the validation summary fine you can change few settings of validation summary that how the validation summary should be displayed the display mode of it it should be a single paragraph or it should be a bulleted list or it should be a list what should be the style of the bulleted list and so on now you can use a show message box if you are making it true then a message will be also been prompted to the user if you make it as a false then a message will not be prompted to the user you would like to display the summary yes i would like to display the summary etc etc so fine after doing this now i am trying to run this page and interested in giving a click on the sign up so when i am interested in giving a click on a sign up you will find the text is getting displayed on the validation control and on a summary the error message is getting displayed fine now if you provide the name over here and now if you give a click on a sign up you will find it displayed with a message that registration is successful it means till the time the validation controls are not successfully completing the validation 
the code behind will not be executed. The form will not be submitted. That is the beauty of this validation controls. Nowadays, we are using HTML5 validation control, but as per our curriculum, we are interested in working with the validation control. Now, moving ahead. So, we come to know one validation control over here named as required field validator as well as summary can be displayed under the validation summary. Now, I would like to go for accepting the another value from the user that I would like to accept the age. So, here I am interested in what accepting the age. And I want age should be in between 70 to 25. It should not be below 17. It should not be above 25. So, age range need to be always between 17 to 25. This is what my condition is. So, why this condition will be added? Because I would like to teach one more validation to you. That is called as your compare validator. Or you can go for a range validator for 70 to 25. It is better to work with the range validator. So, for accepting the age, here I am adding a text box. So, here the text box is getting added. Now, I need to add up one validation for the age. So, I am interested in adding a range validator over here. So, I implemented the range validator. Uh, for the control to validate is your text box too. Now, range must be having error message. Maybe I provided error message that age must be between 17 to 35. After displaying the error message, the next very, very important property which comes in picture that is called a maximum value and minimum value. So, I had given a maximum value as 25 and a minimum value as 17. Moving ahead, uh, whenever you are comparing the range, a very important thing that what is the type of the value. Now, I am interested in using like the type of a value as integer or it can be a date or it can be a currency. Now, here I am interested in going for a integer value. So, please remember that after setting the maximum value and minimum value, if suppose your type is string, then the validation will not be successful because it will try to compare the string validator. It will try to complete the compare what your string validator. So, it is better over here you should be utilizing the numeric validator. So, I am utilizing the type as integer. Now, I want the text and error message should be same. That's the reason I am not providing the text. If you want the text and error message should be different, then you can keep the text and error message as different. Fine. So, age has been set by us. Now, I am given a click on execution of the project. If I am not providing the name, it asks me, you must provide the name. So, if I try to give a click on a sign up now, you know that it shows me the message as please provide the name. I had provided the name over here and here I am providing the age as 45 and say sign up. Now the error message is getting displayed as age must be between 70 to 35. I think so I had given a 25. Na? So the error message should be also be in 25. Let's let us me check what is given 25. The error message should be age between 17 to 25. Oh, achha rahega, otherwise user ko misguide kiya aisa ho jata hai. Right. So I just again try to run the program. And if I am trying to provide the name, then the required field validator has been successful. Whereas if I am entering some name which is below 17 or about 25, then the value will not be accepted. But if I am providing the value which is perfectly between 17 to 35, then you will find the registration is again what? Successful. Just look into this. What is the next thing which I would like to show? The range validator will be always comparing the range, comparing the value for the range. But I had entered the name, I am not entering the age. If I am not entering the age and I had given a click on a sign up, you will find the code display the message that the registration is successful. Because we had implemented range validator. Range validator says if you provide the value, then value must be in the range. If you don't provide the value, that is okay to me. It will not make it compulsory to provide the value. If you want, the value must be provided, must be provided. Then along with the range validator, you need to implement the required field validator also. So let's focus how exactly we are implementing both the validator together. 
So here it comes. I am providing required field validator over here. And under the required field validator, I am providing the error message as uh, what should be the error message? My error message will be please provide age. The control to validate is our text box too. So you can understand it is possible for you to implement multiple validator on the same control. And the text I would like to display is star mark. That means compulsory. So fine. Some basic things are being said by me. And now I would like to run the page. Please focus what is happening now. If you try to give a click on a submit without entering the name, without entering the age, then you will find it displays me the error message on both. But sir, what is happening? The star mark is coming far ahead and this space is what been empty. Actually, this space has been allocated for the range validator. This space has been allocated for the range validator. But right now, range validator is not been validated. Because we are not yet provided the age. Now, if suppose I am entering the name over here and entering some age which is above the range. And if I give a click on submit fine, you can understand now what is happening. The value is what of a range validator get displayed over here. And the star mark is getting displayed perfectly next to this particular range validator. But what I expect, this space should be utilized only when the error message is there. Otherwise, the space should not be utilized. For doing this, what we do, we go to the range validator and there is a property for all validator named at display. And display property over here is being static. So I make this display property as dynamic and then I am planning to run this page. When I plan to run this particular page and now if I give a click on a submit, you can see very easily the star mark is getting displayed immediately next to the age. So earlier problem jo tha, thoda revise karke dekh lo. Earlier problem jo tha, wo yahan pe kya ho gaya? Resolve ho gaya. And we had seen that all validator, the display property is very important, which can be static or which can be dynamic. So two validators are seen by us. One is your range validator. Second is your required field validator in this video. In the next part of this particular video, we will try to work with the other validator like a compare validators and so on. Continuation is there of the same practical.